Very glad to know you're still with us. We're joined by a security affairs analyst, Austin Peacemaker. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. The report is out. What is your assessment? Okay. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we, thank, we thank God that the, the DHQ have kept to their promise. You know, when, when the news hit the streets that police officers were killed by soldiers and all, People, there was a crime on the year and there, you know, but Mr. President promised to set up a board of inquiry, and we thank God that they have delivered on their promise. Well, finally, officially today, it has been released, and, and the DHK told, uh, gave an, a background analysis of what transpired, what happened, which the general public are already aware of. But also, the new part of it is that both parties, both parties were said to have breached some procedures, which we all know, the gap, the communication gap, the, the communication gap among agencies, security agencies that are working together. And, and they have made their recommendations. And if you, see, if you see the report that was released by, the press release that was released by the DHQ, that is uh, Colonel Oye Mawachiko, the, the defense spokesman, and it was there that, that they have recommended sanctions for both the police officers that are involved, both the soldiers, the captain, and other soldiers that were involved in the act. So I feel, uh, is, is a, is a, I think it's a, is a fair report, and uh, as we all know, the Board of Inquiry contained a lot of people, both police, Navy, Army, and other security agencies. They did their thorough work, and they, they even went all the way to Ibim, and they did their research, and did their investigation, and did their interview, they interviewed various parties and all. And, and well, the report is out, is in the public domain. You, you, you seem rather confident in that report, but do you see the police accepting the findings? Well, uh, I would have attempted to say uh, I'm not sure they would have accepted the findings, but for the very fact that they have their, 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 their personnel in, among the board of inquiry, if we are board members, three of us are board members and we are set to take a role on assignment by the president, and uh, we are set to, to bring out a written document about our findings, I'm representing the police. I think I'm part of that report. I sh I'm very sure I endorse what is written in that report. If I don't endorse it, I don't think that report will be out. So I think it's a collective effort among the armed forces and also the police were involved, the army were involved. And so I think, I think the police will, will find it in good faith to accept. Your, your analysis makes sense, but you do remember the controversy around this incident with the army and the police trading blame back and forth. So I'll take the same question to you, Tunji. Do you see the police accepting this report? I just like you said, they, they, may, they may say they, they, they were not accepting, they are accepting. It depends on the composition of the, of the, of the, of the committee. And like you said, police were also part of the uh, committee. Police representative was also part of the committee. So if uh, he endorsed that uh, report, it means they were not short sighted in that. But that, they, 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 what, they, what we say is that if, or it may even be, there may be a minority report. May, some people, some of them may not, may not, it may not be all of them that agreed on what was agreed on. But you know the way it is, majority carry the foot. But I, I, I think, uh, I have not seen the details of the report. I only saw the, the summaries sent out by the, uh, poli uh, by, the, by the army. So I have not read the details, I don't know whether. But I, I think, like you said, looking at the composition, there should be fear in that report. And I, and I think uh, we have been told before now that uh, the issue has to do with communication issue. That has been laid down before, even before the committee was set up, because they have been saying there was no proper communication. They didn't identify themselves very well. This is and that. You know, all those, the, all, the, all those, uh, uh, to me, I see it as an excuses for one, uh, one agency or the other. There is no issue of communication. It's not, it, because we are told, if I, even the, the Wadume or said, they told them they were police. Okay, so uh, we're going I, I to get, we'll, we'll, if we have time, we'll talk about that, you know, communication and tough war issue. But I, I want to ask you this question. Um, what Dumi was in the middle of all of this. I, I understand he's still in police custody. But how come we have not had any further information as to his uh, subsequent arraignment in court? What is the situation with Wadumi? Who is in the thick of all of this? There just seem to be some sort of veil uh, over the uh, matter. I won't authoritatively say, but... I, I can I, I, I perceive that probably we're waiting for this report to be out. Because if you notice also in this report, Wadume was recommended to be tried and also thorough investigation to see all parties that are involved. That's that that means that whoever is involved, whoever is involved, either the army or the police 
or whoever, the community leader, whoever was involved. So I feel that's why probably has not been any corner and on, and we have not got to hear all that details. But I'm very sure right now, after this, after this report that is now in the public to me, we are waiting to hear what next, what will happen to Wadume. But I think also, let me quickly add, it, it's also a, a call for us, for, for us as Nigerians to begin to say, please, let, let various agencies learn to work together. Security is a very dicey issue, and as we all know, it takes collective effort for us to ensure that we are secure. The, the, the insecurity of a neighbor is also the insecurity of you. Even no well, do you what see that have. happening? Because this is not the first time we're having this situation. It seems the, uh, the, the, the soldiers are more on the streets than on the, at the fringes of the uh, cities, which is ideally where they should be, protecting our territorial um, integrity. But they seem to be in the cities these days. Um, how are we going to manage that? Because this has been an ongoing issue. Unfortunately, uh, officers paid the supreme price. Yeah, you know, the, the police, is, police is very close to the people. We have, uh, we have the police stations everywhere. We even have their outposts and all. But in most cases, just as you said, it's not supposed to be so. The army have their own jurisdiction. The military have their jurisdiction to defend the territorial integrity of Nigeria. And for them to have, for you to have been seen there on our street shows that probably the, 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 the police have been overstretched. And it, that's why they are calling for, the, for, for more recruitment, more personnel in the Nigerian, for, in the Nigerian police. The number, the, looking, at, looking at our numbers as Nigerians, we are, we are too many for, 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 for the few numbers of people in, in the police to, to, to police us and to ensure that police presence is in everywhere. And, and I think uh, that, that, that's why the military are out there. That's why we see the military every day. Normally, the military are supposed to be restricted to their barracks and also probably when they are aggressive ag uh, aggression that, that, they need to, uh, that they need to address. It's a situation that has gone beyond the police. But, it's not, but currently, it shows that the police has been overstretched. And that's why the, the army is assisting the police to put security in place. Just like, even just today, we got to hear that in the in, 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 in army headquarters announced multiple operations across the country. You know, extend here, SSIA, Patuma, Crocodile, Crocodile Smile, and all. Yeah, but but it seems to be a worry that they are taking over as against a system. But let me bring that you, you, you to you. I, 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 why I agree so. with him that the police are not doing well. I don't want to. I don't want to use the language you use. I didn't use the word that that they they been, that, No, no, no. Stretch. That's what. That's what I'm going to. I don't want to accept that. Uh, uh, adjective of a threat. Yeah, it's it, it been admitted indirectly or directly or indirectly that the police himself are not capable to tackle this issue, and that's why we're having army. They themselves also, you know, they, 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 they showed it in their actions, in the way they operate. So it, it, that, there is no confidence. People don't, they don't have confidence. But in the that. officers, they, they, the they don't, will not they don't have confidence. You. Even the government don't have a confidence in the ability of the police to handle the issue. That's what they're giving it to them. So how can we deal so with we are, it? Can deal with we have to, we have to, we have to, have to we have to reorient the security We have to restructure the police our... and reorient the police. Police as, or himself, itself has taken himself to the background. They see themselves as uh, they can't face any any any, any serious uh, insurgents. They, they, that, that, that's the way they they, they they behave. They believe it's army that can do it, and that they also have to stay back. Not all of them do, but that is the way they are they are, they are looking at it. Even the government itself is, 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 is taking it that way, thinking that the only people that can do even election. You, you see, we won't rely on a, a, a police. We, we go and uh, invite army to come and do a uh, violation for us. So, and the, the, that that to be an indictment on the inc on, on the on the inability of the police to do the job. That is, they are indirectly saying police you don't have the capacity. That's what, that's where I see it. What, what questions should Nigerians be asking uh, now that the report is out, especially as it has to do with the family of the deceased officers? And the question they all, they all have to do is to see justice. Just, justice, that's all, that's all we need, and that, that's what they're trying to do. And like, like sometimes, again, let me, let me say, let, let me even respond to this issue later, regarding whether why Wadume has not, been, has not been charged to court. You know, it's only in Nigeria that we rush to court sometimes. You know, he, he rushing to court is not all the best. Look at, uh, what's it called now? The former minister of petroleum during the Jonathan. Alison uh, he's, he's been he's been investigated abroad for for how many, how many years? He's not been, she's not, she has not been charged because they've not been able to to, to get a, tight, a watertight uh, case against her. But if it's in Nigeria, they, they will have rushed to court and they will garbage in garbage out. Then that's how the, most of the cases have been lost in court because the cases are won by investigation and prosecution. No matter how no matter how clear a case is, if there is no if there is no be the same. if there is no proper investigation and there is no proper prosecution. You will lose your case.
So, so I, I they must do a water tight. In this case, it will be water tight. I'm saying maybe that's why they are being delayed. That they are doing, they are taking their, their time to do a good but, but, job. But, but they want to do a good job. My, my my friend is a lawyer. Is he a lawyer that used to push push uh, your your principal or your client to go to court? That is what he said. Let's go to court. So no, yeah, because our because yeah, uh, because you know in, you know, in, you in, in law in law the our system put the responsibility of proving your case on the person who alleged, even yes. in civil matter. In civil in criminal, you are the one who alleged that I, I stole money or whatever. That is the state. You are the one to establish whether how that money is, was stolen or whatever, yeah. even if it's clear. So people, court don't rely on, I read this on newspaper. I saw it when it happened. It, the court will rely on what is before Evidence the before court. them. Uh, on a final note on this segment, uh, what lessons, if there is any, should we learn from this entire incident? Officers lost their life of... I mean, for no reason. Well, I, I, I think I, I think there are, there are lessons to be learned because in every they say don't just have the experience but pick out the lessons from the experience. And security is a very sensitive issue. For our national security to be tight, strong, and top notch, we need the issue of interagency rivalry need to be put aside because life are stakes. A little mistake. In, in the, in the security process can make someone's father or can make someone to lose his father or someone to lose his mother. Can make a man that dressed up this morning to go out and say, I'm going out to protect Nigeria to lose his life. Just a little error. So I feel there should be more, information is very key. There should be more robust information. And also, Nigerians, we should learn to provide the right information. If you see, from, from what we got to know that when Wadman was picked, the community people cried foul. People cried foul. Probably people were benefiting from it. People cried foul that oh, that is the wrong information. Oh, he has been kidnapped and all. Oh. Right we'll information. Knowing whether it's destroyed or there are other things involved, but but it's good for people to provide the right inf information to security agencies and also access access. Let's open our space. Let's be able to. Uh, let's be able to police our environment and see how we can have the right information to give to those who are involved in protecting us. Uh, Atunji, you have something to add? Yeah, well, that. I agree that uh, certain people have been key. Yeah, I won't agree that they were key for, no, for, for, for nothing. Officers? They, the officers that were key were key because of the service interests of some people. Some people benefited from it. So well, it's, I mean, so it's they, not for they, nothing. They, it's for their, their life. Their life, um, yeah, their their life, life was worth more than yes, that. Yes, they were, were caught. No, I, I, I said some people were key. For those who key them, key them for their own personal benefits. So they, 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 they until, what I'm trying to say is that until we do away with selfish interest, until we do away with I must get something for my own without considering what would be the effect on the other person, we may not, we not, we may not grow. And then until the agency, the military, whatever agency in Nigeria, whether not even go outside the military, all the agency, until they, they stop those uh, inter, inter, inter rivalry or as to uh, uh, superiority or I'm the one in charge, or to take, they are all fighting for the same cause. They all want to get the same, the, same, the same thing. So whether it is you or it is me, what we need is just to get information. Uh, and, and also on the killings also, I think it's also a very good lesson for us to learn as Nigerians is that we should begin to appreciate people who are on our uniform, who are protecting our country, people who are being protected, who are, who, are being, who are being paid with taxpayers' money to protect our lives. We should learn to, a lot of military people, a lot of people, uniform police officers, military officers, and losing their life every day. Yeah. And most times it's like we're just trading, throwing the play games and, and also... We'll get there. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm very sure we'll Good. get there. It, so and that's part of why, why we have those those in, in, Look at the circumstances. They're even trying. Because exactly. you, there, is no, there is no enough fac um, um, uh, facility. There is no enough... They, look at where they even live. Their welfare. So you're basically so, giving so, clues to us. No, no. no you have, in the circumstances, you have to praise them. Because some of them are, are, some of them are trying. Some of them are bad, though. But, but some of them are also trying to because I've they are doing their North best. East, to I've, met, I've seen troops on ground. I've seen them cooking for themselves. I've seen them protecting themselves. I've seen them living under some unfriendly conditions, all oh, just because of oh, Nigeria. Thank you, our servicemen. Thank you very much for your service to this country. And thank you for sharing your thoughts uh, with us on the program today. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll take a break. And when we return, we will be talking more security issues. Stay with us.